Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and look that I have on right now. I actually only used one palette for this look and it's my first time using this brand. It's from Morphe Brushes and I know you guys know what palette this is. Of course, it is the Jaclyn Hills Favorite Palette. And so here it is. It's actually has beautiful colors. It has ranges from browns to purples to greens to oranges it's just a beautiful palette i was actually really impressed with it with the pigmentation how creamy it is how easy it is to blend out and i was really surprised at how big each eyeshadow pan is because usually when you get a palette um the pans are really small but this has a good amount of product and and you only don't you don't really need that much product on your brush you just tap it and that's it you don't need a lot because a little goes a long way but um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye i'm priming my eyes with the Lorac behind the scenes primer and the mac paint jelly paint pot i'm finally using my morphe jaclyn hills favorite palette and i'm so excited because these shades are gorgeous i'm taking the shade es13 which is this one and i'm using the sigma e25 blending brush and just putting it all over my crease it's going to be a transition color Next, I'm taking the ES38 shade, which is this lilac color, which is beautiful. And I'm taking the Sigma E55 eyeshading brush and just pecking it all over my lid. I'm going to keep on pecking it until I'm satisfied. Next, I'm taking the ES62 shade with the Sigma E35 brush and I'm just blending everything out. Next, I'm taking the ES63 shade and I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm packing this more on the outer corner and then just blending it all out. I'm just blending everything out because I don't want there to be any dark lines. So I'm just gonna blend, 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 and blend. Next, I'm taking the NYC liquid liner in black and just lining my eyes. Next, I am priming my face. And shocker, I'm only using one primer, which is the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer in the shade Light, because I didn't want to get the other one. So yeah, I'm just putting all over my face. Next, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade N4 Buff Beige. I'm just going to dot it all over my face and then I'm going to buff it out with the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush.
Next, I'm using for concealer the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller in the shade light medium. Putting it under my eyes, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, under my nostrils, on my chin, and on the sides of my jaw. Like I need any more. <laughs> now I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Then I'm going to use the F86 brush from Sigma. Next I'm using the contour kit from Anastasia and I'm using the shade Banana with the Arbonne Precision Brush and just putting it all under my eyes, basically setting my concealer. Next I'm using a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm putting it all over my face, just bronzing it with the e.l.f. powder brush. Going back to the contour kit, I'm using Java and Fawn with my NARS Eda brush and I'm just going to contour my face. Here I'm using the Sigma E50 large flush brush to just contour my nose and just put it a little under my lips. Next I'm using Peachy Keen from MAC and I'm going to use the Sigma F10 brush I'm just putting all over my cheeks. Next I'm using Mary Luminizer from The Balm with the Sigma F35 brush and just highlighting. I'm using the Sigma E20 short shader brush just to highlight under my brow bone and on my cupid's bow in the inner corner of my eye. Now it's time to blend, like always. <laughs> Now I'm using the Sigma F15 brush just to blend everything out. Time for the brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Brunette and I'm using the Slant Angle brush from Arbonne. I'm not using the brow waste because sadly I, it ran out and so I also ran out of my clear mascara so I'm not going to be using that either. Instead I'm going to be using the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel and I've been using it for the past couple weeks and I actually do like it. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> Next I'm using the NARS Via Vinito eyeliner and I'm putting it on my tight line and on my waterline. Next, I'm taking the Sigma E15 Flat Definer Brush and I'm using the shade ES63 from the same palette. And I'm just putting it all over my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the Sigma E30 Pencil Brush and I'm going to take the shade ES13 and I'm just going to blend everything out. Next, I'm using the Benefit They're Real Mascara. I know I didn't prime my eyelashes, but like I said, I ran out of my clear mascara. But I've actually been really liking this mascara because I've noticed that it hasn't gone under my lower lash line. So, so far, so good. 
Next, I'm using the nude pink lip liner from NYX and just putting it all over my lips. Next, I'm using the NARS Rikugian Satin Lip Pencil. Um, probably just butchered that, but yeah. I'm putting it all over my lips. And I got this from um, Sephora as their um, Beauty Insider a birthday gift thing for May. So yeah, that's what I got. And that's it. <laughs> And that's it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Step Enchanted. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.